Hello and welcome back. Shaking hands is a relic of our ancient past. Handshakes are basically the sign of trust and welcome. Different types of handshakes convey different meaning to the people. So, in this video, we will talk about various types of handshakes and the meaning they convey in detail. First on our list is the dominant handshake. Dominance is transmitted by turning your hand so that your palm faces down in the handshake. Your palm does not have to face directly downwards but is the upper hand and communicates that you want to take control of the encounter. From a research, it was found that 88% of the males and 31% of the females use this dominant handshake position during the encounter. Second on our list is the submissive handshake. Opposite to dominant handshake is to offer your hand with your palm facing upwards symbolically giving the other person the upper hand. This can be effective if you want to give the other person control or allow him to feel that he is in charge of the situation or in other words submissiveness. Well, sometimes we often interpret the body language incorrectly. For example, a person having arthritis may project a palm up or submissive handshake that actually doesn't mean submission. Third on our list is equality handshake. Equality in handshake can be conveyed when both the palms remain in a vertical position or in other words equally at 90 degrees. This creates a feeling of equality and mutual respect. From a research, it was found that only 20% of males prefer this type of handshake. After learning about types of handshakes, you might have a question. How can we create affinity or accord with handshakes? So there are basically two simple ways. First, make sure that yours and the other person's palm are in vertical position or is a type of equality handshake where no one is dominant and submissive. Second, apply the same pressure you received. This means that if on a firmness scale of 1 to 10, your handshake registers a 7, but the other person is only a 5, you will need to back off by 20% in strength. Let's take a second example. If their grip is 9 and yours is 7, you will need to increase your grip by 20%. Also keep in mind that the average male hand can exert around twice the power of a female hand. So allowance may, must be made. Well, sometimes it happens that a person uses a dominant handshake dragging you into submission. In this situation, you can use a technique called hand on top. When a power player presents you with a palm down thrust, then respond it with your hand in a palm up position, then put your left hand over his right to form a double hander and straighten the handshake. This switches the power player into equality. There is also another type of handshake that you should avoid. This is called the cold handshake. No one likes receiving a handshake that is cold and wet. Due to nervousness, sometimes your body temperature drops and hands become wet. So try to avoid this type of handshake which imposes a negative image of your body language. After learning about the types of handshakes that you should perform in different situations, in the next video we will talk about worst handshakes that impose a negative image about you and you should never perform it. So till then stay tuned, like, share and subscribe and see you next time.